Hey, all right, greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire, and welcome back more Shin Megami Tensei: Strange Journey. In the last episode, Commander Gore was Commander Gord, and in this episode, we're going to be continuing our strange journey without I mean, minus one commander. So let's head back to the blue jet so we can harvest its graviton radio. Yo. Sure wish I knew what the book was weak to. I sure wish Pixies were weak to Boo Boo. Oh wait, I already knew that. Sweet, so the books are weak to uh, fire and light. We don't have any light-based spells yet, so we don't have to worry about that yet. So he's just been sitting there moaning about his, Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. And a real soldier gave up his life. Well, I'll tell your wife something. I'm gonna tell you what... Dummy hit. Two new enemies. Well, it's just one new enemy. So, Aji on one, Bufu on the other. More flights. Raptor on Meraki. It's law, but I also think it's dark, because I don't ever remember recruiting one. Yeah, dark laws exist. They're kind of weird. Hmm. Why won't you let me harvest your organs? I'm just... After this fight, I'm gonna start cutting out randoms, because... And I don't think this is really contributing anything. So, let's start. Now. Beautiful. Oops. Oops. Enter. I don't see why you wouldn't let me enter from the other side, but... So you risked cancer just so we could get this thing, Jimenez? bonus, because the text is still messed up. Eh, main dish. Yay. And now we have to slog it all the way back to... Spread. 
unfortunately, this is a perfect opportunity to show off terminals and their use for instantly warping back to the sector's entrance. And it also faces you right there, so all you have to do is press A. Hell yeah. I, I don't think sending my buddy in to get cancer <laughs> will get me medals. Strange journey's almost over. That was totally the final boss. <laughs> Materials in the Schwarzfeld, known as Forma. Now that we know about Forma, we can start obtaining Forma. So let's go down to the lab. Forma is a super important part of this game. You won't finish it without it. Actually, I'm sure you probably could, but there's a few plot-related Formas you need. Actually, no, you couldn't. There's a. We'll get into that later. And now we've got the Forma Surge A. You can't turn off the Forma Surge, but there's no reason you'd ever want to. different types of forma. There's, you know, your standard forma, which is extremely common, and then there's rare forma, which is used to power up the main app. Which is what they were explaining about. Now some demon, well every, I don't know about every demon, but many demons have a certain species-specific forma. See that little, uh, pink rhombus over there? Well, that one's over here, too. Hit scan. And we got recovery core three. We can use those to make, you know, high-quality healing items. An AT ant light, which is used to make... We can make, like, weapons and armor out of it. Forma's really cool. I, I, I enjoy it. And here we got two of those species' unique Forma. The 
fairy wings from the pixie, and the spirit comes from the book. Oops. Now you see on the bottom screen. Wow. Count rate's pretty high in this room. I don't know, sometimes encounter grades can fluctuate pretty wildly. I've never managed to figure out what it all meant. Rare form of successfully analyzed. Feather flock. And it'll always let you know if you found a rare forma. Rare form are pretty cool. So let's bring this one to Irving so we can finish the mission. And again, I'll just meet you in the lab. Yeah. What do we got? Now we've got unlock A. Now we can open some locked doors. Ooh, sub apps. Now the Schwartz world has become Apple Headquarters. Sub apps are pretty cool. I'll get into them later once we're done with this. Escaping from Aunt Leah. Lucky Vern. It looks like a vagina. Extrapolated. It's a fun word. in a dodge. So, we have to go underground and find this energy source, it appears. Thank goodness we have that locked door feature. Ooh. Demon feature. 
confusion. And much like Devil Survivor, now we can fuse demons together. But unlike Devil Survivor, there's like 300 demons in this game. There's so much more. and knocker. We'll get a Knight Sandman. Comes with Zeo and Dormina. And then we can choose what else we want him to have. Well, can we? I guess not. Anyway, I don't want to fuse them yet. I like having two demons. Let's go to the deck and start exploring more of Sector Onlia. So, now that we have unlocked, let's unlock this door. Which just gives us a little shortcut. Let's unlock this door. Yeah, there are still some doors we can't unlock. Oh my god, it's still you. Don't know what I expected. So let's grab us another format. DF and light. You guys aren't worth killing. Anyway, I'm gonna take a run down to that healing terminal. More recovery course. EX missions usually give you pretty snazzy rewards. Unfortunately, I don't think we have a bead. I really gotta hit the wine button. Do we? We have a revival bead, but not a bead itself. A bead is used to fully heal a demon. Or you. Let's see if we can get some god up. Oh. Strange question. Are you in joy? You want to join my team, dude? Ah, damn it! Yeah, sometimes demons will ask to join your team, but sometimes they're real dickwads and they decide just to jump you. So, I'm gonna kill him. With extreme prejudice. That was a Mega Man Zero reference. 
How does it feel to take a gunshot to the dome, ass kid? And we got a pixie source, now that we can fuse demons. Here, I'll show you what I mean by a source. I gotta maybe I'll just map that buttons differently. Let's say we want to mix them. Sure. And we can choose to use the demon source, which could possibly give it, you know, a different skill. This source comes packing Dia and Medea, which is a multi-healing spell. Sources are great to, you know, put new skills on demons that those demons wouldn't usually have. Night Sand. As you could probably guess, that's from a Sandman, since they're of the night race. You can't change sub in the field unless you go to a terminal. Usually you'll have to go to, like, Irving's room or... or whatever. So don't worry about it. Now we got all the time. We got the time. Whoa, that's changed. We're gonna go at it. Guns a blazing! Mm. Nice. One demon goes down. Not thinking how many Aggies I'm taking to the face, but. Oh crap. Thankfully, enemy demons are incapable of using demon co-op. I don't know why they are, but... You know, I'm not gonna question it. Ooh, a po That's a Chinese demon. Well, a ch demon from Chinese myth, I do believe. At least I would assume. Well, it's the Poe that's kind of making me think it's Chinese. That's very Chinese. Okay, I swear to God, if you attack me, I'm gonna be upset. Oh, sweet! We actually got a Tengata Manu. It's got Bufu and Needle Rush. You can't go wrong with Bufu in this place, to be perfectly candid. In that battlefield, there's a lot of uh, fire demons, and demons just straight weak to Bufu. So let's get Tangana Manu on the team. Tangana Manu is our first law demon. Neutral in law. Is that a plane? Okay. So a Kaso. And a Huapo! Talk to Kaso. My favorite outfit. Oh crap. Okay, okay. Smooth that over. Oh come on. Ah. Let's talk to the other Kaso. It's a social studies trip. Are oh, you slimy bastard? Ugh. 
Ugh. Let's give Huapo a whack. I'm a researcher. Oh! Fuck. You know what? Fuck! God, sometimes I hate negotiating with demons, because they're, you know, they're... They can be really bullheaded, you know? Anyway, I didn't think I was high enough level for... Quapo, anyway. God, I love the early gun that hits everything. Not all guns do that. Some are single hit, some just hit three random times. Now, some swords you can hit multiple times with. It's pretty cool. This is one of my favorite DS games, and for good reason. I swear I'm gonna recruit one of you bastards. Yeah, I wasn't high enough level for Hoppo anyway. Let me get a knocker source. Mapufu stone. Usually, when a demon levels up once with you, they'll give you their source. But demons can take a long time to level up, so be careful. Well, not be careful, but, you know, be aware that you can be there for a long time. And that's a one-way door. Holy crap, why is it lagging so fiercely? I think it's that snow. Ah! Oh crap, Maragi! That's probably a Sandman in the middle, but I want that Flopo. They're Battle Gear. Please don't be mad. Okay, thank god. She seems to like honesty. You're intriguing, please, please, please. You bastard. Oh! See, I don't mind when they're just... Oh shit, I lost him, got a mine. <laughs> Bitch. If you're mad at this, I'm gonna be a... Okay. Let's negotiate, baby. I need you on my team. Yeah, take all the maka you want. Please just ask for maka. Or energy, I don't mind. Well, that's odd. She didn't really take much to join. Anyway, we got Huapo! The next Jure Demon. Better than a knocker. Oh yeah, well also when it comes to demon fusion. <laughs> when it comes to demon fusion, you can't fuse a demon that's a higher level than you are. Keep that in mind. Like let's say we wanted to fuse Gatamanu and Huapo, we'd get an Itsumade. But we're not a high enough level for it. Say we mixed Tangatamanu and Pixie, we'd get Angel. She's got Ama and Dia too. I like that. Oh, we can get Mabufu already. Wow. I'm surprised at how early, compared to like say Persona 4, you'd get the uh, Ma spells. Or Devil Survivor, too. Wow. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the episode here. We've done quite a bit of exploring. I've actually made it quite further into Antli than I expected to. I wouldn't be totally surprised if we finished Antli in the next episode. So, anyway, I'm going to see you guys next time, and I hope you're enjoying Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey.